Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. So this video is going to be like a couple of rants, I guess. It's to do with football again. Um, I've mentioned this in the previous video of my Game Week 5 review of the Premier League. Uh, this one's going to be something that sort of happened over the past week since then that has obviously caused a lot of controversy, I guess you can say, and obviously has rubbed fans and other teams the wrong way. So the first one was called Project Big Picture where I think apparently it was just Liverpool and Man U which were behind this and everyone else rejected the idea. So it kind of shows what ownership is going on there and why they want to have. So basically what they want to do is they want to cut the Premier League down to just 18 teams. They want to remove cups like League Cups, FA Cups, stuff like that, I think, if I remember correctly. And they want a say on if like new projects or new teams get started, if they get funded or not. So essentially, the poor man, you want to control the football league. And you can probably see why people didn't agree with it and uh, immediately reject it. Like every other team immediately rejected it. It was only Liverpool Man U that tried to forward it. And yeah, I, I think it's like for some people's fan bases, I think maybe within their own ones, uh, it's made them paint them in a different picture as sort of like power hungry teams i guess or like the owners as well it's like i get that they've been the most successful like title wise but it doesn't give them the right to take control of the league there's a reason why they're part of the league not they are the league um i think that'd be like man city trying to essentially use their money to say oh we want extra points if we give you like 500 million pounds you know it'd be a bit silly um and yeah, the whole 18 teams thing just seems a bit odd. Like, it's much nicer with 20. It's like a nice sort of rounded number. 18 just feels weird because then it's like, so then you're only playing 34 games, not 38. And then what happens to the teams below? Are they still got 24? Like, what two teams are you going to get rid of? And what's going to happen to, like, going down the leagues? Like, you suddenly just going to go, oh, no, like, they're out, they're gone, whatever. You know, it just, to me, it just didn't make sense. Like, I haven't fully read into it. Like I said, the only thing I know is Liverpool and Man U wanted essentially some control over the football and to change it around a bit. That essentially benefits them more than anyone else. Um, and yeah, like I said, it didn't go down well with fans, with other teams, with other owners. Uh, I think it was West Ham's owner or Aston Villa's owner that demanded an apology from United and Liverpool for the whole project uh, big picture thing. And they've refused to apologise. So again, not helping them. Uh, the second thing, which is probably the much bigger problem at hand because they're trying to make it a thing, is they're trying to make football pay-per-view. So essentially, they're taking a handful of matches each weekend and they're making you pay £14.95 to watch them. Um, this is Sky's idea and just shows just how greedy Funwing Sky are. It's not difficult enough that with the whole lockdown people are having to worry about their money anyway and for something like football that is on sky that you already have to pay for like you have to pay for the sports package separately like fyi that they're now trying to get multiple games you have to pay 14 pound 95 for um it's not going to work i think a lot of people have said it's not going to work i think even some of the even like even some of the football teams are literally going to be like yeah, we're not doing that. Like we, like you know, like they're not going to make people pay fourteen ninety five. Like, if you want to, fair enough, but you're going to just be losing money. Like literally, wait for the game to play. Twenty minutes later, Sky Sports have done the highlights on YouTube. That's literally what I'm going to do with it. Um, and it's like the only way that pay per views work and like the whole box office thing is they do it with things like boxing and UFC and like other sports. The difference between them and football, football is essentially weekly. So they're expecting people to pay like minimum £15 a week for to watch two hours of a football match. Whereas things like boxing and UFC is like every two to three months. And it's not the one match you're watching. You get the entire card and I think you probably get it for like a week or so. So you can see why people don't like agree with this. I definitely don't agree with it, as you can tell. Um, like it's just one of those things. It's just so enraging to like, obviously like football fans and stuff like that. It's like 
it's Sky basically wanting even more money despite the fact they already got millions of money, like millions of money, millions of pounds. Um, like they, they are uh, like a shit ton richer than everyone else. So why are they trying to basically squeeze even more money out of people that just want to watch football? Um, it's like, it's an absolutely ridiculous thing. And like the worst part is they're picking some of like the least interesting matches. Like one of them was Sheffield United versus Fulham. Who's paying £14.95 to watch Sheffield United versus Fulham? If it was Man United, Man City, Arsenal, Tottenham, Chelsea, Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal, whatever, like, I would get it. You know, it's a bigger team and, you know, obviously the intensity is there. Not Sheffield United, Fulham, who were, at the time, I think still are, 20th and 19th in the league. Who's paying £14.95 to watch the bottom of the league Premier League? It just doesn't make sense. Um, I'd probably get it if it was like the FA Cup final or like the League Cup final, Champions League final. I get that because that's like once a year and you don't know who's going to get there until the end. Um, but not weekly football. And if you are, pick the right matches. Don't pick bottom of the league football. Like, people want to see the leaders or derby matches. Like, they're the ones that people want to see. Um, yeah, it's just ridiculous. I think, eventually, like... I think people have already just gone and said... Like, people are just going to start illegally streaming more. And, like, they've literally took two steps back with this whole pay-per-view thing. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's beyond a joke what Sky is trying to do. It, like... Again, if you want to pay fourteen ninety five, go ahead. But you're just endorsing them to do stupid things like this. Because eventually, they're probably going to get to a point where they say every match is pay-per-view. But like I said, the main problem with it, uh, then, like, the matches they choose is it's on top of a package you're paying for. So they want you to pay money for the package to watch it in the first place. And now they want you to pay even more to watch one match. Um, which is like, I remember like, like the ones that I got before where it was like, I think it was like last year or so, they did the day passes or so where it's like, oh, if you want to watch it, like these particular matches that are on, for example, I think there's one where they had like the Manchester Derby, Arsenal, Tottenham. They literally went, you can pay £9.95 for the day and you get those matches. You know, that's fair enough. You know, like it's two big matches. If you just want Sky Sports for that day, you pay the price for the one day. But this is literally they're asking you they're asking you to pay fifteen pounds for two hours of football, and it's like, yeah, like I I I genuinely do not get it. It's uh, stupid, like really stupid, and I think it's just going to turn people off Sky even more. I think the worst part is I think BT Sport are doing it too. Um, if I remember correctly, I, I was looking at the app. I think there's like BT Sport and there's BT Sport box office. Then the Sky Sports, Sky Sports box office. And like I said, it's just going to lead people to illegally stream even more. Um, because who's going to pay £14.95 for a football match and like a not good one at that? Uh, but yeah, like I said, it, it's it's stupid. Um, so yeah, that's my rant on Sky being dickheads. Um, basically wanting even more money out of people despite the fact we're struggling with the whole lockdown situation um yeah it's, it's 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 not a good look for them it's not a good look for football um but like i said it's just going to make people illegally stream even more than they already do um because like i said who wants to pay 14 pound 95 for fulham versus sheffield united it's a bit crap yeah at this rate they're going to start doing it with championship games probably um but yeah i like my only hope is that Sky look at this and go, oh, well, we didn't make much money off this. I wonder why. And then basically a ton of people saying, because it's a stupid idea. Um, but I think Sky will keep doing it for the rest of the season because they want more money. Uh, probably same for Liverpool and Man U, hence why they did the whole Project Big Picture thing. Um, yeah, so basically this has been my video of me ranting about that and basically my opinions on it and why it's not going to work. But again, it's nothing new coming from me because it's just stating the obvious. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it.
uh, me being pissed off at football, but again, a lot of people aren't, especially with what's going on now. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you quickly. See you in the next one.